The Tasmanian Devil Program uh, began in 2003 and it was started as a collaboration between the Tasmanian State Government and the Australian Federal Government in response to devil facial tumour disease or what we call DFTD. It's a contagious cancer that was sweeping through the Tasmanian Devil population throughout Tasmania and the program was set up for us to work out exactly what the cancer was, what effect it was having on devil populations in the wild, and what we could do um, to help those populations. been with the DEVIL program for 10 years and from the first year that I started with the program I've been wanting to come to the southwest of Tasmania to have a look at DEVIL populations here. The southwest of Tasmania is considered probably the most remote part of, of our state. It's very difficult to get to. The only way you can get here is either by boat or by helicopter. So we've been talking about this trip for a very long time. We spend quite a lot of time working in the field with wild devil populations, understanding the effect of, of disease on these populations. But the populations down here in the remote southwest, we don't know how big the populations are. We don't know whether they're diseased or whether they're healthy. We suspect that, that they are genetically more diverse than devils over the rest of Tasmania. But we don't know any of this because nobody has ever trapped these animals before, has never been and had a look at these populations before. So there's always been a bit of mystery about the devil populations here. We're looking at making the most of the genetics that we have in our insurance population and boosting those, but also making sure that the animals that we're putting back into the wild um, have the greatest genetic diversity that we can give them. So this trip now is the beginning of what we call the Founder Project. And the Founder Project is about understanding how we can maximise the genetic diversity in our insurance population and enable that genetic diversity to be passed on into the wild populations that we're supplementing with our translocation program. I guess it's just a far more complicated trip to organise. It's a bit more complicated when you're here, um, but it gives great rewards, or at least we hope it does at the end. <laughs>